problem, problem, all day long. Bad day, bad day, what a night. I wasn't even uh, expecting to do this video when I got back tonight. Uh, something in a movie, being reminiscent. Um, and when I got home from being reminiscent, um, I was shot um, from what I read and heard, and it just made me sad. It made me sad. So, um, yeah. So, what happened was, I went to the theater tonight and um, to see uh, Remin Reminiscent and with uh, a couple days late, a couple, a few days from now, I will review that movie along with Free Guy, which I saw earlier this week. And, um, but getting back to the story, um, when I got home from being reminiscent, I found out that Don Everly had passed away. Yeah, so right when I was about to go to bed, I found out that Don Everly passed away and broke my heart it's sad. And because I was a big Everly brother fan. They were like the they were like the biggest uh they were they were like the biggest um um musician singer whatever you want to call them uh in my childhood growing up they like uh, it broke my heart when Dor Day died because because her and John Wayne were like the like the biggest a movie star that I all I want to watch when I was growing up, my childhood. John Wayne and Dorothy. Day. And then when Dorothy Day died, broke my heart. Uh, so, um, and it was sad when uh, Phil Everly died in 2014. And, uh, and uh, when he died in 2014, and I found out that he was the youngest, Don Everly was the oldest, and tonight I found out that Don Everly was the, uh, uh, was the, let's see here, um, 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 He was 84. Um, okay. Um, so, um, and Phil Everly, when he died in 2014, he was, uh, should say it. Uh, so, um, uh, so basically, they died about 10 years apart, 70, uh, you know, you know, 73, 74, Don Everly, uh, 83, 84, okay, um, they both were in the, they both got in, uh, inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Cause the way, uh, the way they sing, a lot of the songs sound like Country Music and Rock and Roll Hall and Rock and Roll. Okay. Um. So before before I got into uh, Alan Jackson, Your Straight, 
uh, the Beatles, Jim Croce, uh, a lot more people I can mention like uh, John Fogarty, Slack, Cream Crew Revival, Elvis Presley, Ricky Nelson, Shania Twain. I would enter the everybody. Hey, uh, and if you knew anything about the everybody, uh, if it was, if, if there were no everybody, there would be no Simon Garfunkel, no Rolling Stone, definitely no The Beatles, no Beat Boy, and they influenced a lot of people, a lot of people. Band singers that came after them. Okay, and a lot of people had a lot of highly, highly stuff to say about them. Okay, um, so this is the one that I had for many years. Um, so, um, uh, there are other, there are other people, the other singers in the band that I'm a big fan of. And much as every brother that I became a big fan when I got into him, like Alan Jackson. I consider Alan Jackson my favorite uh, country singer, uh, John Fogarty, Slack Cream Cream Revival, my favorite like rock and roll band, uh, Shania Twain, my favorite uh, my female singer. So I had a lot, of, a lot of other things in the band that I like, but the Every Brothers, they were the first one that I was like really into. And every time I go back and listen to some of the songs, a lot of nostalgia. And so all that three, I'm gonna be listening to the Every Brothers and be crying in the rain and dreaming about the Every Brothers. Instead, that I never got to um, see them in concert or meet meet them. So, um, uh, I think there are a couple songs on here that are really good, or some of the best songs are not on this this uh, this uh, the essential recording of the Every Brothers. That are, like some of the best or, or some of my favorite. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what some of my favorite Every Brother songs are, and uh, then I'll give you my final thought, and now we're done with the video, okay? So, um, so I would say, of course, uh, now I'm gonna try to do like at least a, like a top five or top ten. So, uh, the D little one that I'm gonna say that will always be my favorite of all time of the, of the everybody like uh, uh, bye bye love all I have to do is dream uh, Kathy Clown walk right back uh, uh, wake up a little dirty Crying in the rain. Um, I like um, uh, some of the other one I like over the years. Over the years that I kind of like and I grew, I grew to like was uh, I wonder if I care at much. Uh, Poor Jenny, that little girl of mine, problem, and uh, to our kitchen. Okay? And also, the silver hair daddy of mine. Okay? And also, uh, I'm here to get my baby out of jail. Those are the ones I like. Okay? Um, so, uh, yeah, okay, um, so, um, 
I would like to, I would, uh, in my opinion, I think the Ellie Brothers are the greatest um, duo of all time. Better than the Beatles or the Beat Boys, because like I said, if there was no Ellie Brothers, there would be no Beat Boy, no Beatles, so on and so forth. Uh, I wouldn't mind in the near future if they made a movie about them. You know, you know, they came out with the movie called Respect about Rika Franklin. They did one about uh, Johnny Cat back in the early 2000s, which I highly recommend you watch them. One of my favorite Bible Pit movies. Um, they did one. They did one about Queen uh, called Bohemian Rhapsody. Which I like. I think uh, like a year or two they're doing one about um, uh, Elvis Presley, which I'm excited to see. I like I like Elvis Presley. Um, so um, yeah. So let me know if you grew up with every uh, every brother. What thought them your favorite every brother song? Or your dad, or you like, are you a part of the new generation that don't even know who, don't even know who the Every Brothers are, don't even know who the Beach Boys are, don't even know who Ricky Nelson are, don't even know who Johnny Horton are. Um, but let me know, or your dad, what are some of your favorite, uh, the Every Brothers song, and would you uh, uh, like to see an Every Brother movie, Final Pit movie? And uh, let me know. And uh, and like I said, on that tree, I'm going to try to pay tribute to them by lit listening to a bunch of their songs and bring back nostalgia. And, um, um, uh, Next day or so, I'm going to finish up my uh, theory of my review of The Brave Little Toaster, where I, re I uh, rank, review and rank all three of the uh, Brave Little Toaster movies. And then a few days later after that, I'm going to review Reminiscence and Free Guys. So those are the, the, the last two brand new movies that I saw recently. And I, I get, I, I decided to review them for y'all here on my channel. Okay? So, uh, thank y'all for watching. And if you're new to my channel, hit the like button, guys. Thank you.